I help rescue people from flood water. I help repair storm damaged buildings. I keep our field teams informed during operations. I rescue people involved in road crashes. I learn new skills and make new friends. I do things I never thought I could do. I lead my local unit. I help search for missing people. I help train my local units. I help clear fallen trees after a storm. I help rescue people from flash flooding. I help to keep our community informed during major storm and flood events. I help my community when they need it most. How can you help your community? Join the New South Wales SES. My name is Michael Cole. I work in the rural industry, looking after animals, contracting work uh, in shearing sheds or fencing, and whatever my hand finds to do, that's what I'll end up doing. My role in the SES is a unit commander, and my unit is regularly called to rescue and also for community first response, working in with the ambulance service in New South Wales. My role is to be able to make sure that we have the necessary equipment that we need and that we have the necessary training that's required to be able to fulfil these jobs that are out in the area. The skills that I'm able to use in the rural community, I'm able to transfer them into the, the unit. Saying that, we're also able to retransfer it back into my work business. So me as a commander, I'm able to utilise the technology that the SES teach me to use and I can transfer them into my business to be able to effectively run my business a lot better. Hey look, I think taking on a role as a leader in the uh, New South Wales SES is great guns. It's positive, a lot to do, um, it's challenging and it's really, really rewarding. To learn more about being a volunteer in the New South Wales SES, Go and visit our website. Hello, I'm Keith Dore, local commander for the Lachlan Shire SES. Well, a variety of reasons that I joined the SES. Um, one was to help people, um, also learning skills. Um, I suppose the social side of it as well, enjoying the company of other people with like minds. Uh, the sorts of work we do is the occasional road crash, um, occasional storm job. Sometimes we get a, a few roof jobs in one go, you know, every two or three or four years. We uh, get involved in the occasional search, assisting police with uh, searches and sometimes with um, crime scenes where we're providing additional resources for them. Major floods are probably about every 20 years, 10 years, whatever. Um, you can't sort of uh, set your, your clock by them, but uh, uh, we had a high motor flood in 2012 and a major in 2016, uh, which made us fairly busy. Well, we've probably got about a dozen members at the moment. Um, there's a few people who have left uh, for work purposes, um, so we're looking to, to get a few more people in to replace them. There's a variety of roles. Not all of them are uh, frontline active. Um, there's uh, support roles as well. So I suppose just going through a range of things. There's road crash rescue, um, vertical rescue, flood rescue. Um, there's storm damage work, which um, might be clearing trees at ground level or off roofs. So that can involve chainsaw work. So chainsaw operators we need to. Um, and then more behind the scenes, we need uh, people to, to manage the operational side of it, the planning and, and um, uh, operation management, uh, incident control, um, uh, logistics, all those sort of areas. So the, the, the roles for all sorts of the levels of fitness. Uh, Google SES and um, find, get, find the, the, the um, homepage there. Uh, they, they can come and see us on Monday nights, um, 6.30. Um, or uh, if there's someone here when they're driving past, um, or bail us up in the street.
Hi, I'm Janine Ferris. I'm the Deputy Unit Commander at Hilston Unit. We've recently reactivated our unit after a period of time where we didn't really have many members. We were down to three. So we did a big uh, recruitment drive through the local paper and lots of social media uh, through our Buy, Swap and Sell page here in Hilston and we um, had lots of interest and we've now got 14 members. Tonight we are doing an exercise to practice our currency in road crash rescue techniques. So um, recently we did our training and this is the first practice we've had since we finished our assessment. So we've got one casualty trapped in the car. Our job is to get the side of the car off to extricate the casualty. We're using the cutters and the spreaders and the combi tool to in different positions to get the various parts of the panels and the um, pillars off. And once we've got all of that open, we'll be using a spinal board to lower the casualty on and then um, pull the casualty out safely. In Hilston, it's quite varied. Uh, our main role, I would say, is road crash rescue, uh, supporting the police to do that. But um, lately we've had several storms. So we've had, um, we had a whole shed that um, came over the back of a fence, like fully lifted up and, <laughs> and blocked a whole road. So we have the Lachlan River that runs through Hilston. Yep. Um, there was a major flood event uh, about three years ago and um, it was the Lachlan flooded upstream but um, didn't actually flood as much as they thought it would down here in Hilston but we did have a lot of support from out of area to try and make sure that we were covered and our town wouldn't go under and we definitely do need to make sure that we've got our skills up to date for that time when the flooding does come. A lot of the community groups have realised that we're capable of assisting with various community events. So we've done things like first aid for a big concert on the weekend just gone. We've had um, a number of community engagement opportunities at our local Christmas tree event. We've used those as an opportunity not only to show that we are active, and show who we are and what we do, but also to sort of educate the community on how they call us and when they can call us for help, um, and also if they'd like to join up as members. My name is Cathy Garancy and I'm a Transactional Business Manager. I'm a local commander with the New South Wales SES. I have three units within my cluster and I'm also a member of the local Emergency Management Committee. As a Transactional Business Manager, I work with my clients around their budgets, around their people management, around their cost requirements and I know that I can bring that back into running a unit. As a local commander, you need to be able to know when operationally you have to be on point and you have to be able to give instructions and know that they will actually entrust and believe in you. I believe I've been able to earn the trust of my volunteers. 
If you have the opportunity to take on a leadership role within the New South Wales SES, I would definitely recommend it. To learn more about volunteering with the New South Wales SES, visit our website. G'day, I'm Darren Hawke. I'm the Deputy Commander here at the Aubrey SES. We meet here at Elizabeth Mitchell Drive at 6.30 on a Tuesday night. We have a new boat, as you can see. It floats all by itself, but it needs a couple of people that can drive it for us. Can you help us out? Hi, my name is Liz Britt. I'm the unit commander of the Gundy Guy SES. Tonight we've had a training night on roadcraft rescue. We've also been doing an open day, which we're doing for the month of April on Tuesday night. So tonight we actually got to get a car in and cut the car up. So that went really well. We had to do a body extraction via the back window. So we had to cut off a door. We had to um, cut out the back seat so we could get the spine board in. We had um, a couple of trainees on duty and we were just doing a bit of practicing. We had all our gear and our truck set up. We're doing open days for every weekend of April. We're doing the open day just to um, encourage some community members to come along and actually see what we do. Um, and it, they don't necessarily have to do road crash. We also do storm. We also do floods because we're on the Murrumbidgee River. There's a lot of that. There's other jobs that you can do, whether it's um, catering for the troops that might be out doing sandbags, whether it's um, IT work. There's always a role for someone to do something in the SES. I help rescue people from flood water. I help search for missing people. I help rescue people from flash flooding. I do things I never thought I could do. How can you help your community? Join the New South Wales SES. I lead my local unit. I keep our field teams informed during operations. I help my community when they need it most. I do things that I never thought I could do. How can you help your community? Join the New South Wales SES. My name's Kerry and I'm an archaeologist. So half the time I work in consulting archaeology in Australia and the rest of the time I dig in caves all over the world and then bring things back and do all sorts of strange things to them in the lab. I've been a volunteer in the SES for about three years and in that time I've filled roles as a, as a training officer and also as deputy unit commander. As a deputy unit commander in the SES, there's a management and operational role, but maybe the most important part of the role is managing relationships with your fellow leaders and with your fellow volunteers. A really important part of my role is, is growing and nurturing the volunteers that I'm working with. The skills that I've developed at work have really helped me with my, my people management skills and my project and team management skills, and I've been able to bring a lot of those skills to my role in the SES. But I've also been able to bring a lot of my experience from the SES back into my job as well. While being a leader in the SES has its challenges, it's personally and professionally very rewarding. If you have the opportunity to apply for one of these roles, I absolutely recommend that you do it. To learn more about volunteering with the New South Wales SES, visit our website. community by volunteering in one-off events. How can you help your community? 
join the New South Wales SES. I help repair storm damaged buildings. I help clear fallen trees after a storm. I help my community when they need it most. I help to keep our community informed during major storm and flood events. How can you help your community? Join the New South Wales SES. I rescue people involved in road crashes. I learn new skills and make new friends. I do things I never thought I could do. I help my community when they need it most. How can you help your community? Join the New South Wales SES. I help rescue people from flood water. I help repair storm damaged buildings. I keep our field teams informed during operations. I rescue people involved in road crashes. I learn new skills and make new friends. I do things I never thought I could do. I lead my local unit. I help search for missing people. I help train my local units. I help clear fallen trees after a storm. I help rescue people from flash flooding. I help to keep our community informed during major storm and flood events. I help my community when they need it most. How can you help your community? Join the New South Wales SES.